Hello everyone, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to a belated day 11 of the 30 bags in 30 days declutter challenge sponsored by Sophia of My Great Challenge. Tonight's video is going to be quite short. It's just a bit of a work in progress um, video as to the progress I'm making with the dreaded chaos that was my craft room. Um, these piles are still to be sorted. Um, I've had to bring some of them out of the room because I needed some space to actually get to the stuff I needed to sort. I managed to tidy up this area, which is my die cutting area. Um, this is the best die cutting machine in the world, as far as I'm concerned. It cuts not just paper crafting stuff, but it also cuts material. You can put dies through and it will cut eight layers of fabric in one pass. Um, I've managed to sort out some of the junk that was on top of this pile here, but I do need to go through all the tubs that contain various dies and paper crafting. These here are my grown-up felt tips, which I do need to go through because they're not all fitting in the, uh, the tub that they're in at the moment. So yes, there are 144 different coloured Pro markers. Um, at the back, I'll just move this out of the way. Those are my Tim Holtz Distress Inks um, in a purpose-built container to store those. I've just piled up all the, paid, the cards and envelopes that were lying on top of the desk, so I need to go through that. I had a quick mooch under the desk, and guess what I found, Sophia? 30 brand new Sharpies. I'm so excited, I can't wait to uh, get those out of the packet and put them in a nice container. I do like a nice Sharpie. So, as you can see, I've managed to clear the desk of rubbish, and I must admit, most of it was rubbish. It really was stuff that... The paper and card was so battered because I just dumped it on there. I've just had to throw it away. But at least now I've got some clear space that I can actually start to declutter properly. The aim tonight, and I'm not going to bore you all with doing it online because it would take absolutely forever, but every box that's under my desk, I plan to get that out and go through it and decide once and for all what craft products I'm actually going to use and what stuff I can donate um, to the school next door. Or perhaps, I did have a little thought on my way home tonight, I thought maybe once I reach a certain milestone on my channel, maybe I should do a, a crafty giveaway. So if you'd be interested in me doing a crafty giveaway, um, I think the first milestone would be 100 subscribers. And I'm not far off that, surprise, surprise. Um, if you'd like to just leave a comment on this video as if you're a crafter let me know what kind of crafts you're into and maybe when I reach a milestone I'll pick two or three people to receive a crafty uh, surprise from me or two so uh, that's it but it's a really short one tonight because I want to get cracking on sorting the boxes out and I am mindful I didn't post a video yesterday because I was very late home from work and I was just too tired to be honest but uh, thanks again to everybody who subscribed like I say, if you want to be in, in with the chance of winning a crafty goodie bag, subscribe and leave me a comment. And uh, hopefully I'll speak to you tomorrow. Night, night all.